uh, yes so after every interval of uh, one second uh, another interrupt is going to come so the, the interrupt is will keep on coming until and unless the uh, r tau channel zero stop function is not called so that is how we have created the delay function it it is basically dependent upon the count which gets incremented inside the isr the isr is called after a uh, after a gap of one millisecond till the time this function is not reached in the code and it will remain stuck until and unless uh, the count value doesn't exceeds the value of the delay time so that is the basic logic behind how we can create a delay ms function and all the microcontroller this is how the delay uh, is basically created but uh, just remember one thing that uh, there can be a little bit slight gap of uh, uh, exact delay of uh, one second as compared to uh, yeah uh, uh, there can be a difference between exact one second uh, one second or one millisecond <clears throat> because of this knob statement so just consider it if you want to remove it or if you want to keep it for the sake of uh, easy debugging so that is up to you and uh, Yes, so now if we intend to simulate our code, uh, yeah, I'll show it to you over here how this code is going to run. Yeah, we have selected simulator only. So we just need to download and uh, this uh, you have to click over here. Now download or build or something. Right. okay so uh, i also wanted to showcase this time that uh, there is one more mechanism uh, of uh, watching uh, the variables or, or or registers special function registers so if you want to make a check of the values of the sfrs you can uh, click on view select the sfrs and all the SFRs are going to come over here. Okay, so you can uh, see the uh, if you click on the plus sign, you'll uh, get to have all the uh, registers of the what do you call uh, the group of uh, peripheral, right? So it is there. Now, if we play, uh, yeah. So I am going to use a breakpoint over here so that I can showcase you. The value is getting changed or not so see right now it is uh, it will be one okay and uh, yeah one second one one second uh, uh, was uh, elapsed so after one second it came over here now if I'll run it it its value should become after a period of one second like there's a p again so its value changed to zero and uh, when this statement is going to come next so see uh, its value is eight again then interrupt is going to come up uh, i mean a delay is going to come up and then again it is going to be zero so this is the non-graphical way uh, you can use this mechanism uh, with any kind of microcontroller the specific microcontroller that I am using for this uh, series is not required this thing is available for all microcontrollers uh, but uh, for soft to use the software simulator you have to select the microcontroller or if, <coughs> like uh, this option is uh, limited to some microcontroller so I don't know all the names but uh, you can just use what I am using that will be a little bit easier for you so I have I have basically shown this thing in my previous video so just select an LED okay click uh, label is just the name if you wish to give but uh, there is no use of it we want to be 63 yeah it was P63 and now it will run it um, So you can see that it will uh, turn on and off. 
uh what we are experiencing right now is uh, the